Hey guys, my name is PD, and um, today I just want to chat about something extremely important and um, something with, something that I've come to um, face to face with a lot, and that is um, unrepentance. And you know, um, if you've ever like, if I pray for people uh, for healing or for deliverance, uh, I'm, both of them, both of them have the same issues usually that stands in the way of healing coming or a demon leaving, you know, if, if it doesn't want to leave or if healing doesn't come in. And the core issues usually, I don't always, I don't know all the, all the answers, right? But I've found that, that the core issues is, um, is unforgiveness towards others and unrepentance. Now, I want to make this example. Not too long ago, I had um, someone um, who I ministered to. And actually, this happens quite often. Um, and um, I was praying for the person for healing. And and healing wasn't really coming, man. There was really nothing going on. I was praying for like 10 minutes and there was absolutely nothing going, happening, nothing changing. And, and when that happens, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's one or two things. It's either number one, it's my unbelief which I am very quick to blame because it's a reality. Or number two, there's something wrong in standing in the way of healing coming. And usually that is unforgiveness towards others or unrepentance. You see, I love this analogy, which I heard before. You know, if unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die, you know. And um, that's that's it. We when we have unforgiveness towards someone, sometimes we don't realize it. We don't we don't know. Uh, we don't even realize it. Whatever. And then, over the course of ten or twenty years, that unforgiveness takes root and it starts manifesting in the forms of a sickness or disease or um, or anything like that. Bad things, man. Curses on our life. Because really, when we are, the word says that we have unforgiveness towards others. If we do not forgive others, God cannot forgive us. That's what the word says. Because we have, do not have the right to have unforgiveness towards anyone. If you truly understood what Yeshua did for you on the cross, if you truly understood that, then you would understand that you have no right to have unforgiveness because he forgave you in your sin. He forgave you when you hated him. He forgave you when you wanted nothing to do with him. Over and over, you've been sleeping with the world in your, before you came to Yeshua. You've been whoring with the world. You've been taking part in its delicacies and its, and its, and its sin and it's all of it. But yet, you've, and you've cheated on Yeshua multiple times and yet He forgave you. Yet He loves you and He, and he, brought, he draw, draw you near to Him and he, 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 he washed you clean. He forgave you as if nothing happened. And see, He expects us to treat our husbands and wives and friends and family and everyone, stranger alike, the same. And if you do not treat them that way, you will bring a curse upon yourself. Um, and a lot of times that curse will manifest in terms of sicknesses, diseases and demons uh, torturing people, you know. And um, so, you know, what, what I found in, in that example that I made of the, the person I was praying for, I was telling them, I was telling them, hey, do you have how how is your relationship with your husband? Like I just I just asked that randomly because the God put it on my heart and and he or she said, um, well, we're divorced, you know. And I'm like, okay, okay. So do you have unforgiveness towards him or her? And he's like, no, I don't have unforgiveness. I'm like, okay, cool. When was the last time you talked? And I'm like, oh no, years ago we don't talk. I'm like, why do you, why don't you talk? Oh no, because you know we just don't talk. And I'm like, but. Why don't you talk? Why is there no peace between you? Um, and then what happened is the person started going on. No, well, this and this and this. He did this to me. He did that to me and this and that and this. And, and all of this hate that was first denied. He, she, he or she first said there was no hate in their heart. He said, there's nothing there. But then when I questioned, suddenly all of this hate came out. All of this, no, but I will not, I, I don't have any business talking to them. They have no business talking to me. We are finished. And no, no, no. There was such a hate and unforgiveness in that, that in the words that I immediately realized that this is the issue while they're, while they're sick. And, and see, I, I told them that. I told them, listen, you need to forgive because God cannot forgive you if you do not forgive others. And, and they refused, man. And they refused it and it broke my heart. And I'm just like, why did you? You know, I can't do anything if you don't, if you don't forgive, you know, and, um, and it, the same goes for repentance, man. If we need to repent towards, if we, towards, um, 
God, you know, we need to repent and have a repentant life. We need to be obedient to his law, you know, uh, because if we don't, uh, the definition of sin is if we transgress his law, right? So if we are obedient to his law, that's the, that's the opposite of sin. That's not sinning. So we need to be obedient to his law and where we break his law. If we're, you know, if you were a drug addict for 20 years, man, and you're sick from that stuff, God can heal you. Um, but it starts with repentance. It starts with renouncing and repenting. And then, you know, if healing isn't more healing is necessary, you know, ask people to pray for you to get healing. Um, and um, all of this goes for demons as well. You know, if you're struggling with demonic strongholds in your life, you know, repent, forgive, get that stuff clean, get that stuff out of the way. Go in front of God and say, Lord, is there anyone who I have not forgiven? And if if the Lord brings a, a name up, you go and you call that person and you make peace. I know forgiveness is one of the hardest things to initiate. It's hard to say, hey, I'm sorry for what I did, even though if I even if you did nothing wrong, you know, but going and saying, hey, I'm sorry that I did this. I'm sorry this happened between us. I just want peace between us. I love you. And um, I hope that you would forgive me, too. You know, saying that can be so hard because our pride comes in the way and it takes incredible humility to go and do that. And you know what? Can I just tell you, if you have the guts, I mean, the boldness and the faith to go and forgive someone like that, call up someone and, and forgive them. Man, you know how what that is in the sight of God? That's like the most incredible thing, man. God loves that so much. And um, you know, so I want to encourage you, man, go if you've got any, even while I was speaking, if there's any name that's coming to mind right now, I want you to go and call that person. I want you to go and forgive them, because if you don't, maybe not now, but maybe five years from now, you're going to sit with something that's going to start creeping up because unforgiveness is giving authority to the enemy in our life. You're, you're basically opening the door and say, hey, enemy, you're welcome here. You know, and we don't want that, man. We want to close all those doors and just open the door for the Holy Spirit to come. And so I pray that the Holy Spirit convicts you where you need to be convicted and um, draws you closer to him through all of this. All right, guys, uh, may God bless you and keep you and uh, shine his face upon you. Give you strength and blessing and subscribe to his YouTube channel if this blessed you. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, cheers. Bye. <laughs>